It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Detroit Lions and the Los Angeles Chargers. All that and more coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the city of angels, Los Angeles, California. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the LA Chargers. Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and kickoff straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? I think about what the great coaches of the past always said, the key to any ball game. Can you rush theirs and protect yours? Well, in this case, both of these teams get after the quarterbacks. I'm watching the pass rush. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. And they're brought out by a former number one overall pick coming off one of his best seasons ever in year seven of his career, now in year eight, Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. And Goff going to look to throw right away. A oh, short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. 11 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. Love this look to start the ball game. They empty the backfield right away. And that's going to put some early stress on both their offensive line and on the secondary. And here they get the completion and a quick first down. Now left side on the swing pass. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Now a second and ten. Now gone. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Here's Gaugh. Throw left sideline falls incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. Back deep for L.A. is Darius Davis. This is brought in at the 21. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. They're led out by one of a few North Dakota State alums at QB in the NFL, a fifth-rounder back in 2019, Easton Stick. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100-plus the next. 
He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's Aiden Hutchinson. He was determined to blow that play up, and he sure did. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Eckler going to get it again on second down. It'll be a five-yard pickup there. So from second and 13, they're back to a more manageable third and eight. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Third and eight. Stick looks to throw. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out. But his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. Running on first down, Eckler. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Eckler going to get it again on second down. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Now stick. Being chased out left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. No score after one on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. Here's Stick looking to throw. It's taken in by Quentin Johnston. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. From the 29, here's second and three. Stick back to pass. A uh, quick throw there is incomplete. So it looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive. And now they face a third and three here. A shotgun throw for Stick. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Short yard situation. You have to wonder if they thought they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out of the backfield trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. It when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. No shortage of impressive moments for him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. Here we go now on first and goal. Eckler is not going to advance very far. He'll be 
and stopped right at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, I want a back who can create his own space, who can break tackles, and in a sense, become his own blocker. We don't have that guy in the game right now. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line. Second and goal. They're going to look to throw. Got a man, it's Allen for the Charger touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Chargers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it's a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And it's now a 7-0 game. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was Keenan Allen who finished it all off with the touchdown reception. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. now looking to throw that throw taken in by Jamison Williams and they work this well up field across the 45 a really nice gain of 25 yards any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there they come out throwing and they get a nice pick up here toward the end of the first half On first down, it's gone. And his throw here is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Second and ten. To throw is gone. Well, this is Montgomery with a grab over the middle. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 26. 18 yards, a big pickup there on third down. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. First down throw, gone. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. A good first down call as the screen play gets him nine. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Here's Goff now on second down. That's to the tight end, LaPorta. 
And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Goff throwing again. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that'll make it second down. That's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Goff now looks to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Reynolds. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. Badgley able to knock this one through, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So a conservative decision there, but it does put them on the board. And I know the players hate it and the coaches hate it, but sometimes you just got to take the points when they're there. Sometimes a field goal is pretty darn good. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we've reached intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. They started on the ground with Eckler. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets his football out shy of the 30 to the 29. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter, and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game, and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. On second down, Eckler. 
And he'll push forward for a couple to the 34. Well, that opening in the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. They'll come up facing third and five. They'll look to throw. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. So good work there on the defensive side for the first drive of the second half. Yeah, and until their offense can get into rhythm, their defensive players and staff have got to say to themselves, we've got to make it work. We've got to stand in here and make sure nothing else happens until our guys start moving the ball. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. And this will be taken at the 13. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. It'll wind up being a net of 41. Nine yard return, 50 on the punt. And the Lions will take over. in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 22. Drive starts with a run from Gibbs. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That was a good run and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play. First level being the defensive front. Last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle. And oftentimes, we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Now Goff on first down. Throw left side, caught by Laporta. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's the Lions trailing, but with possession of the football as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. Trying to get out wide, but he's going to be tackled right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. And they find the open man. That's complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 32-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. On first and 10, Goff. Finding Williams once more, complete. 
And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Montgomery back to the ground. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Second down, eight yards to go. Now it's gone. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. A big play looming on third down. Now gone. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Finally held down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Partner, you absolutely cannot take a sack in that situation. Now, it's also fourth down. Got to avoid the flags defensively. Here's fourth and long. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Josh Reynolds, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Lions have taken a fourth quarter lead. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams oh, yeah. guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So the Chargers now down 10-7, 80 seconds remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. This is Eckler. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. A little screen pass, backdoor, and that time, worked well for a solid game. Here's second down and three. Now stick. He's got Eckler, and he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 
field. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. He's back to throw. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. They'll come up first and ten here. Eckler now between the tackles to the 27-yard line. I know they got a little yardage there, but I'm not sure their investment is right. They're still running the football, and I'm not sure there's enough time to continue to do that. Here's second down. They'll look to throw. Allen's got it complete. And now the timeout call. So five seconds left, and a field goal would send us to overtime. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to potentially send us to overtime. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. So overtime on the horizon, barring a wild finish here as the kick's away. Final whistle blows, and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor. 60 minutes, just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game. So the Lions, now they'll get the first crack at things here in overtime as we are back underway. And this taken in at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Now a deep ball going to be caught here near midfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. And that goes for a gain of 31. As we've seen over the years, offense coordinators will often ease their way into drives. Many of them don't want to risk a turnover and put their defense in a bad spot, but not in this case. Not at all. Forget about easing into it. They took a shot. It worked.
So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and ten. Gibbs straight ahead. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. From the 48-yard line, here's second down at seven. They'll fake the handoff. Now Goff. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up a third down. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. It's third and four. Big play here, trying to keep this opening drive of overtime alive. There's Goff. This one swung out to Montgomery. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. Decision time now on fourth and about a yard and a half. I can still hear my high school coach John Ford right now. I want my number one play with my number one runner over my number one blocker. <laughs> Get me the first down. But some may very well say, punt this thing away, pin them down deep, and play field position. A gigantic call there in overtime, but it pays off with a first down. To the air again, golf. That's complete to the portal. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. From the red zone now, gone. That's into the hands of Reynolds. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Ball at the 14 for second and five. Here's Gaw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Gibbs. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. It's a touchdown run from 10 yards out. Well, they were looking to pick up the first down on third and short. They got a little more than they bargained for, finding the end zone as well. And oftentimes in short yardage situations, you get a lot of defenders stacked near the line of scrimmage, partner. So if you can get past that first wave, there's usually room to roam, and he found it. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that makes it a 17-10 score. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. 
And after the field goal last time, see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. <laughs> they weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Stick looks to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Here's second and ten. Stick back to pass. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Stick to throw once more. Flushed out right. And he is stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards, but needed ten. That looked great when he first took off, because in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect them to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with this fourth down call. A big call here in overtime. They're going for it on fourth down. Here's Stick looking to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down. Good work there on fourth and one. They get seven to move the chains. They only needed that one yard going for it on fourth. I got to be honest. I thought they were going to stay on the ground. They surprised me. Did they surprise you? I'm with you on that one. I thought they'd find a way to create some type of a power run and try and pick up the first down. But they decided to keep the ball in the hands of the guy who could throw it, and it paid off. Yeah, that decision paid off indeed. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Now stick. A little short pass. This is Everett. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations. But a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. First and 10, stick. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Flying in for that sack, Aiden Hutchinson. And that time, finally, a measure of revenge as they get him down behind the line. It almost felt like relief, didn't it? Because with the success he's had throughout this game, you'd almost expect him to get free and pick up 10 to 15 every time he takes off. Not in that case. That has to feel good for the defense. They'll throw on second down his stick. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. I thought they were going to sack him there like they did on first down. Great coverage, but he found a way to move with his legs. Yeah, his ability to take off. Not only did he get some yardage back, he got a little bit extra. Really helps him on third down. Makes it manageable now. Stick from the gun. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. 
I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. They're going to go play action now with Stick. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. What an excellent end result for them. But let's go back to the decision, first of all, to go for it all on fourth down. A lot of pressure on the quarterback's shoulders, but they knew he could handle it. Makes the right read there, gets the ball to his receiver. They get the first down. It's now first and goal. They'll set up to throw, sliding out of the pocket. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. It's a seven-yard touchdown run. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. Extra point try now from Dicker. And he gets it to go and we're all even. 17 apiece. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And in the end, it's capped off by a seven-yard run. Raymond bringing it out and the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. So the OT clock hit zero, and we're still not done. We'll switch sides and need at least one more OT to decide it after this. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Goff now looks to throw. He'll find Reynolds over the middle. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, gone. That is caught. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Back-to-back -back completions, and that puts them in enemy territory. And we're always looking for that elusive term, momentum, aren't we? And I think they're building it with the back-to-back -back completions. Now they feel like they can either take a shot or continue to build it the way that they're doing now. Safe throws, get it to their playmakers, and see what happens. Oh. 
On first and ten, golf. Room to maneuver at the 35. And finally taken down at the 34. Second down in the yard. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second down and six now from the 26. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. They juked him. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So everything hanging in the balance, resting on the right foot of Michael Badgley. And now the Chargers are going to signal for another timeout. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. This to win it in overtime. And the kick is good. And finally, this one is over. We thought it may never end. But that kick puts the exclamation mark on it. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. And I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gold.